This is the HTC 8X, and this is the Nokia Lumia 920. Both of them run Microsoft's new Windows Phone 8 operating system. There's a lot to like about Windows Phone 8. It's pretty polished, and it isn't just an Apple wannabe. If you can put up with the fact that there are a lot fewer apps available for it than for iPhone or Android, it's a nice alternative. The Lumia and the 8X are among the first phones to run the new software. Both have big, colorful screens with rounded corners and polycarbonate bodies that come in a variety of colors. From a distance, they look almost identical. But in this case, looks are deceiving. The first difference is apparent as soon as you heft them. At six and a half ounces, the Lumia is a whopping 40% heavier. Not only is it thicker than the HTC, it's thicker than an iPad. This is one big hunk of hardware. But there are a number of offsetting benefits. In the U.S., the Lumia runs over AT&T's ultra-fast LTE network. Like many Nokia phones, it has an excellent camera, and you can even charge it wirelessly. Most of all, it's a terrific value. For $99 on a two-year contract, you get 32 gigabytes of storage. By contrast, the HTC 8X has the same processor, but costs twice as much for half the storage. $200 for a 16 gigabyte model from AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile. And I didn't find either its battery or its camera to be quite as good as the Lumia's. But it has some advantages too. For one thing, its slimmer, lighter size makes it much more comfortable to use. And HTC has put some extra effort into the sound, including Beats audio technology and an amplifier for cranking up the volume. So that's your choice. Value, power, and camera versus comfort and sound. As for Windows Phone 8, well, once upon a time it was Apple telling us all to think different. Who would have thought these days it would be Microsoft? It's a funny world we live in. For Bloomberg News, I'm Rich Jaroslawski.